My name is Santiago Gonzalez, I'm 14 and I love to program. Santiago is crazy about computers. I'm fluent in about a dozen different programming languages. Thousands of people have downloaded my app for the Mac, iPhone and iPad. From sixth grade, he jumped to a full-time college student. I will be 16 when I graduate college and 17 when I finish my master's. I really enjoy learning. To me, I find it as essential as eating. Either you die or you're pretty miserable without learning. I generally wake up at 5.30, then I program for about an hour, eat breakfast. Oh, you're some tortilla, Santi. Oh, yeah. I go to school. Bye. Bye. Right now, I'm a junior at the Colorado School of Mines. I'm majoring in computer science. Hey. Hi, how are you? Pretty good. I uh, go to see Professor Bacos pretty often to look at my code. I often have this disease, which I call long lineitis. Okay. Well, we may be able oh. to do that. Yeah, so that removes the instance, which you don't even need. I didn't even think of that. You know, the motivation that we talked about in class about writing beautiful code? Mm -hmm. Is it enough just to write that slew of code such that the program just works? Or is the code also the artistic medium. Beautiful code is short and concise, so if you were to give that code to another programmer, they would say, oh, that's well-written code. It's much like if you're writing a poem. Right now here, this is Objective-C. It's what iPhone, iPad, and Mac use for programming. I've created about 15 apps for both the Mac, iPhone, and iPad. Sometimes when I go to sleep, I'm stuck with an annoying bug that I can't fix. And in my dreams, I see myself programming. And when I wake up, I have figured out the solution. Santiago is not just a machine that excels at absorbing information and applying that information. He actually is transforming that information and empowering himself to create those things that he uh, wants to create. One of the main reasons I started developing apps was to help people achieve something they wanted to do, such as decorate a Christmas tree or maybe play checkers with a very nice user interface. Santiago is very old in some ways and very young in others. Sometimes you forget that you're talking to a 14-year-old, but sometimes he seems to be even younger than that. He couldn't care less about what he's wearing or girls. No, I'm not interested in having a girlfriend at all. I find that it's a tremendous waste of time. Tell me how you really feel. No, that is how I really <laughs> feel. He's very sure of himself. He has been different to other kids since he's little. Well, I really like to crochet. This is one of the piggies from Angry Birds. He has come to accept that difference and embrace it. Yes, I, I do definitely consider myself a nerd. But it has not always been this, this good. When we first tested Santiago, he scored in the 99.99%. We would explain something as if we were explaining it to an adult, and he would understand. His first interest was rocks and, minerals. rocks and minerals. But he wanted to learn about rocks and minerals from adult books. At that point, he was in first grade. You could tell that his mind was somewhere else. He would come back from elementary school and he would be miserable because he wasn't being challenged. I had teachers who didn't really quite uh, get me. It was just a very boring and sort of painful experience for exceptionally gifted students like Santiago. These students are actually bored to tears, literally, the fact that they're being given this material that, that doesn't challenge them. It's as if a you and I sat down and we set our ABCs for about two hours. In regular school, I found it was sort of ridiculous to be a nerd. The other kids, they did tease me and uh, kind of mock me quite a bit. We knew that, that he needed somewhere else. 
God knows what would have happened if we didn't guide him the right way. It could have been a disaster. And then we found Colorado School of Mines. Colorado School of Mines is actually a very reputable engineering school here in the Front Range and actually throughout the world. They were willing to take a chance and Santiago proved that he could do it. So now he can really be himself and relate with the students. This is really cool. Just seeing from not knowing at all, it's magic. We have all sorts of, let's call them weird students here at Mines, and so I think that most people on this campus really embrace that. It's kind of our strength. I mean, we're all kind of nerds here, so we can interact pretty easily. They're at Mines to learn. They're not, they're not goofing off and interrupting all the time. And, I don't really think I'd ever want to have to interact with other kids my own age. So these sensors are a bit larger than the other ones. Okay. Currently this semester I'm a research assistant for a professor at Mines. Okay. I'm working to improve building energy efficiency. Santiago is developing the sensor network that we're going to be putting up in the building. Yeah, I've been working on the algorithm to see what kind of filter would be the best for this without having any signal loss. Since we can't get any code on the sunspots, it's difficult. We'll solve that. I yeah. don't know what it is right now, but we'll figure that one out. Do you want to sketch out what the code would look like? Sure. I was really needing someone to develop that kind of project, and Santiago was a perfect fit. We put the signal in a low-pass filter. He loves being in college and learning at the pace that he needs to be learning at. Right now, there are quite a few things in my different classes that are really, really interesting. For example, elements of computing systems. Yes, Santiago. So is this what uh, other architectures like x86 and ARM use? Um, the basic principle certainly will be the same. It's really exciting to see how much he enjoys learning about different things and it's contagious as well. So there are variations there are of different. mix? Yes, yes, oh, there are. I there see. Are. Thank you. Oh, have a nice weekend. If I had that, that drive when I was in college, that would have been fabulous. So I'm learning so much from my child now. That's pretty wonderful. Life for Santiago may be somewhat of a marathon that he's already running through, and I hope that he keeps the pace. After I finish my master's, I'm thinking about getting a PhD in computer science at Stanford. And my ultimate goal is to work at Apple. It's a golden age of computers. He lives in, in the right time, I think. He's a renaissance man. When an artist paints a painting and he finishes, he says, oh wow, that's a very nice painting. I like how it turned out. And it's the same thing with programming, going from just a bunch of lines of code to a finished product that people can enjoy all over the world, it, it, re it feels really nice. One of my favorite apps that I've developed is a slide puzzle. You can play individually and sure that's fun, but then you can challenge your friends to see who completes a puzzle the fastest. And it even has built-in voice chat so you can talk to someone who's playing the puzzle with you, even if they're on the other side of the world.